Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So, I'm gonna be completely honest. I started this video and then decided to redo it because I messed up. So today, hello, today uh, we're gonna build a guardian farm. And so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it because the original design is by Chokercraft, but I change it up a little bit so that I can produce more drops. Uh, the original design by itself creates about 55,000 drops per hour. My design, I have no idea how much it creates, but it's double or triple that original design. So um, what I'm gonna do is show you guys, I recommend bringing invisibility potions and night vision potions along with water breathing, just you don't really need that much water breathing until later on in the design. And then there's, um, these are not exactly the correct amounts that he's used um i can tell you what they are for like the regular video uh, or the um first like original design these are just the amount i'm going to be using for the design i the modifications i'm making to it um so it's a pretty simple design and we don't have to drain it which is exactly why i'm making this because it is um bigger so i'm gonna get over there and then i'll kind of show you guys how to set it up first um at least the start of it and then i'll walk you guys through each step once uh we get going with this hey guys so i'm gonna do this while i'm mining out um soul sand uh so in this video particularly i initially aimed to record it and make it kind of like a tutorial but i <laughs> honestly at this point it's just become a very honest playthrough of how i play minecraft and how i i actually build stuff um and not make it perfect yeah it, it you guys could still watch because you'll see kind of what i do um and i actually make this farm a little bit different than Shulkercraft does uh but yeah the it's it's a very poorly done uh tutorial on my hand but it's my first ever like kind of tutorial based episode so i hope you guys enjoy and don't mind and continue to watch um and you guys can free, feel free to laugh or make fun of how poorly it is because it, it is honestly quite done poorly, I guess, is the way to say it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and continue to watch. But if not, I understand and I'll see you guys now after this message. All right. So starting off, eh, I'm going to fall. Okay. Starting off, before you even clear off the temple, I recommend uh, leaving it because it will help you. Um, I just cleared it off. So going into like if you were to see the first um yeah <laughs> the first against the actually you know hold on i'm gonna fly over to the other monument and then i'll show you what i'm talking about i'll just do it with like dirt because then you guys will be able to see it hey, the guardians can't s <gasps> oh no they can okay never mind i lied <laughs> okay so with you're facing it that way kind of um you can do this either side but as long as this is the entrance of the farm as long as the entrance of the farm is on um on like one of your sides then it'll work take your obsidian and place two here and then take these out and place two there and then you'll go out one side by six and the other side by 11 so in total this entire thing needs to be 23 blocks long of obsidian and I'm gonna go do that now over there at the original farm Okay, so if you don't want to make obsidian corners or use obsidian for the corners It will be 21 blocks long, but if you want to use obsidian for the corners, it will be 23 um, So after you do that place a building block and you're gonna go up six on both sides. So one two three four five and then up Think of glass <laughs> Yeah, that's the word. And then you're gonna go all the way down again and do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, so once all of the, once you have the portal built, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up this portal and go two on the side and then one in the middle. Okay, so once you have the portal built, um, I had kind of messed up, so I had to go back and fix it. Um, you guys can clear off this entire uh, thing. Um, Clear off any of the blocks that are like here, and then the uh, little like whatever it's called that's normally up here. I'm gonna drown, and then any of the blocks around the side and kelp and seagrass. I cleared off the entire thing, but you don't have to. And once your portal is completely covered by dirt, I'm gonna take this down because I don't need it anymore. Um, okay, 
Once your portal is completely covered by dirt, you can take out the middle row of dirt. That way there's no water in here. And then just come out and you guys can light it. I'm going to light it later. So, because I'm going to build something first before I light it. And then coming to one of the sides, you're going to dig out, or not dig, you're going to place a block dirt on the top layer, 17 out, and then all the way down 21 blocks. So from dirt to dirt and go 17 blocks out, including this one. Okay, so once you have the outline, just um, do the same thing on both sides and then fill it all with dirt or any type of temporary blocks that you guys have. And once I'm done doing that, I'll come back to you guys. So once you have, if you want to put torches down, great. If not, you don't have to. We're going to go to the portal frames and you're going to put a thing of glass all the way around each platform. Okay, so once you have the platform built, you're going to need about a stack and a half of fence gates. I can tell you that for a fact. So you're going to go eight blocks in from uh, the portal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm going to do that for now. Wait, don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to take the dirt so make this easier. Now that you have, you've gone eight blocks in, you can do, once you go eight blocks in, put a grass block or just a temporary block um, on that eighth block. And then you're going to put align this with a bunch of uh, fences going all the way down. I recommend doing something like this. I'm not going to have enough dirt for this. But going all the way across with dirt because it will make putting the gates down and opening them fa easier and faster. So I'm going to do this and then... Once you have the top layer of gates down, you're going to go to just the block that's in front of it and put gates down again. I'm going to have to move all of my stuff, sadly. Um, you're going to do gates and then open those up as well. So I'm going to do that. Do that for both sides and I'm going to finish doing it on for me and then I will be back to tell you what's next. Okay, so for about for one side of the farm, you'll need about a stack and a half. Um, I did not realize that. So about three stacks of fence gates. It's... Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so <laughs> once you have done all of that, what you're going to do is you're going to come back here. You don't need three buckets of water. I just grabbed three. It is what it is. You're going to come and grab your buckets of water, and you're going, eh. You're going to fall in the water. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Dig yourself. Well, for me at least. Okay. And we'll do that. You're going to come back to this one and put in a all water source blocks going all the way down to the opposite side and we'll do one side at a time just so that it's easier and then i'll once i finish doing this part i'll come back and show you the second part okay so i had a feeling this was going to happen and this is exactly why i said if you guys want a more better done tutorial to go watch silver crafts so i'm sorry but at the same time i'm not so <laughs> This is about as accurate as my life gets with filming videos and building farms in Minecraft or building anything. I mess up a lot and there's a lot of redoing and I'm not perfect. So I hope you guys don't mind. Um, the fence gates, they were in the wrong spot, which I had a feeling that was going to happen, but that's fine. I'm going to fix it real quick. So basically the easiest way I can think of like describing to fix this would be one two three four five six seven eight eight on this would be the f down and then you're gonna just move the top gate one back so i'm gonna do that real quick and then i'll come back um if you guys want to do this and continue on without me for right now um you're gonna take water source blocks and you're going to waterlog each one of these fence gates once you have them all put in place. Okay, so I had a feeling this is gonna happen and that's fine, we're learning this together. So, um, because I have not lit the portal yet, the water will flow down into it. What we're going to need to do is light this portal first. Now, here's the thing. The way I'm building this farm, particularly for myself, I've been trying to put off lighting the portal. You guys could do it earlier, but we're going to go do it now, and I'm just hoping that this won't be too complicated. So I'm going to go light it first and get the coordinates because I'm actually going to move the portal um, in the nether once I have this one lit, and I should probably bring my armor. So I had a feeling that was going to happen, and that's fine. I'm going to have to actually adjust this okay so for me because i'm building this farm near my original like nether hub portal this portal right there connects to this now from what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna go get sand in the center of this portal 
and calculate where it's going to be and then i'll build the nether portal for it first inside the nether ouch um so as i'm going to fix this portal just i will be back once i have it all fixed and lined up correctly okay so i am on the nether roof now i'm gonna be honest with you guys as always i can't break bedrock vanilla way so i did it with my hand <laughs> um here is the nether portal for our uh to the island and this will be the nether portal to our um farm i'm hoping this is correct it might not be it probably isn't and if it's not i'm gonna probably have to move that portal farther away or figure something else out hoping this works though so i'm gonna light it and then we'll go through and make sure hopefully it connects to the other one it's supposed to be close to the other portal for the farm ha ah, fantastic okay i'm gonna break this and then we're gonna go back in and see to make sure that it connects properly no oh crappy apps okay well i know that that portal will go to the other one this one coming back it still connects to this so what i'm gonna do is probably move this over okay it connects to that one so that that guarantee that that still connects to there I'm really hoping that this one connects to the other one now. Yes. Okay. Guaranteed to work. Now we can move on to the next part of this. So you're going to have 10 campfires, 10 soul campfires. Soulcraft recommends 10 soul campfires. I don't really know the difference, but you're going to... Oh, I forgot my texture pack did that. Okay. Personally, I like having a row of three here. I don't know. Personally, I recommend three. The video said for his original said to do 10. I did not do that so i'm gonna go get uh two more so bring 12 when you do this if you feel like it um i'm gonna bring two more campfires or soul campfires and then i will show you guys what we're gonna do next okay so my night vision wore off but that's fine um you guys don't have to do this on the nether roof i'm just preferring to because i have more space but if you don't you'll just have to dig out from it um which is fine i'm doing two more on this side so once you have that there and then I'm gonna do this okay you're gonna take your glass and you're gonna just wrap it around um yeah we'll do it like this so you'll do this you can do corners if you'd like um just around the campfires and you're gonna go up three four yeah so you'll go up four blocks um of glass on each side okay so you guys don't have to do this i'm just going to to prevent a lot more of um, lag if any just put a roof in there it also helps with them flopping though they shouldn't have an issue with escaping this because it, it is pretty tall in general but once you have that all done you can go to the bottom of this um and you'll put your chest and hoppers now he in soccer craft they did they did 28 large or they did 28 chests and 14 hoppers i'm going to probably have to go and get the rest of the hoppers and chests i have um, I brought extra because <laughs> I've noticed this does run out of storage pretty quickly. Um, at least the version I'm going to build. So, yeah, I'm going to figure it out and I'll show you guys afterwards because the chests are a little bit complicated for me to think of doing right now. Okay, so um, I made a mess of a platform for this, but this is how I set up the chest. So, I have hoppers going on these. There's three for each of the campfires, double chests, uh, two of them for each side. And then on the second... Um, once you have the hoppers down for those first chests, I just did uh, two hoppers into two different double chests and then filling those down to here. The extra storage is helpful and the way that this is set up is actually you'll be able to reach everything and the way that Soulcraft had set up his chest design in here is um, it's harder to reach certain chests. So this for me will be easier to use uh, and honestly if you guys want the same exact design uh, go for it. I used 64 double chests and 32 hoppers. I had the chest, I had the iron and the uh, wood for it. So um, it's all up to you guys how you guys want to do the storage system. But that's the, uh, what is it called? That's the killing chamber done. So now you just can head back to the actual farm. You can go through that portal if you want, though you might burn or you can just go through a separate one. It's up to you guys. Okay, so now you guys are back in the overworld. You want to go back to the side we started doing the water on and just start placing water block sources on the trap or not the trap doors on the fences or the gates my bad 
<laughs> um, you'll do this all the way along and you'll see that the water now ends and doesn't run into the actual portal. Alright guys, so once you have the water in, and my apologies for messing this up consistently, at this point it's so normal that if you're really watching this for a tutorial, um, I'm sorry, like, I guess click away, I don't know. Um, so, once you have the water in, I'm going to take the night vision. This is where water breathing becomes um, important, is you'll want to cover up all the dirt, all the areas of dirt, you'll want to cover up the the uh, monument with soul sand now out of knowing how difficult this will make my life uh it my life if i do this now i'm not going to cover this up with soul sand what i'm going to do though is i'm going to make if i remember this works properly because the portals will be next to each other i'm going to make two more of these um and that's because it increases the amount of ink sacks I get, which is what's important to me because I need a lot of ink sacks for Dark Prismarine. And it makes getting Dark Prismarine and, and Sea Lanterns a lot easier. So this is where I'm going to end the actual tutorial part about this. So uh, you guys can't see me, but um, here, you guys can look at my boots. Yeah, I'm sorry if, if you guys think this sucks. This is my first ever time filming a tutorial in general for Minecraft. Um, let alone, I'm honestly just, this is how I play Minecraft. I play Minecraft by taking my time with things and I do things over and over again because I forget or do something wrong. It's all a learning process. That's kind of why I made my channel in the first place. So now what I'm going to do is just very quickly, um, I'm going to say time lapse, but there might not be one. I'm not sure yet. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, actually screw it. Time lapse. I'm going to time lapse the, the rest of this build for myself so I will time lapse the rest of the two farms and then I will see you guys once we're all done. So as you guys saw in the time lapse, I actually I did the soul sand and I made um, <laughs> I made two more of these. Now this increases the drops. Uh, one farm makes about fifty five thousand drops per um, hour. This I don't know how to do math. Either doubles or triples that. I don't know. That being said, there is one other thing that we have to do, and that's the AFK spot. Now I think everyone at this point knows. Um, well. I'm assuming most people know an AFK spot. It's just this the spot. That's it's a uh, 25, 25. Uh, what is it called? 25 feet above. No, not 25 feet. What? <laughs> 121 blocks above. Um. That whatever it's called. And I, though I don't care. Um, I don't really care about dirt or grass right now, and I don't want to. Uh, lose my scaffolding so I'm gonna end up just using dirt for this but you can use scaffolding just because I cleared this off before I made the thing um, the spot I'm gonna use dirt for this so I'm gonna make it up there and then I'll come to you guys afterwards hello I'm not even aiming to record this right now um, I'm in between episodes and I was going to edit and I came to check I afk'd for five hours four hours I'm not even sure <laughs> Um, the chests are full. It works. It works a little too well. All right, guys. So I think that's where we're going to end off today's video. So I am sorry if this is a very rough tutorial at this point. It, it's honestly just me building. It's not even a tutorial. Don't take it like that. As always, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. it tells me you guys do like the videos. Uh, comment down below if you want to see me do another farm. If you think this was a decent video or a good video or you want to see more there's a cloud coming <laughs> um and yeah if you guys want to see more episodes consider subscribing uh and uh yeah i hope you guys uh did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs> peace out bye